Do you ever wonder what happens when the police leave? Crime Scene Cleaners are private companies that handle the cleanup after the police are gone. Spalding Decon is one of the nation's largest cleanup companies handling the aftermath of homicides, suicides, decompositions, hoarding, and much more. These are our stories. We're doing a, uh, this is this is a pretty good size hoard. Uh, I'd say this is a level five. You know, some years ago, uh, there was a trigger, a fiance that had uh, passed suddenly and unexpectedly. And really at that point, our client's uh, life had changed and uh, not for the good. Best Buy 2015 tub of ice cream. Ooh, it's all just maggot carcass. Oh, God. What did we find? Oh, my God. A rabbit. And then we moved the bookcase that the rabbit was on, and then there was a rat underneath it. No. Get that thing out of here. Whatever you do, don't speak any Latin. Uh, what we're doing here today is, uh, so we're in Port Charlotte. Uh, I'm here, and uh, Chris is with the other team over in Englewood, uh, still working on uh, that board project. This scenario here is a uh, kind of a clean-out slash deep clean. Unfortunate uh, elderly uh, veteran having some some issues. You know, I think we had a number of issues, but uh, that, that's combined with uh, maybe some of the medication and alcohol and things of this nature that uh, turns out that he... Uh, was relieving himself uh, in many different ways, actually all over the house. Oh boy, look at that. That's a bunny. Oh. I think it's a baby bunny. Holy shit. All right, hi everyone. Uh, Ed, the Spalding Decon, Southwest Florida. Um, I'm here today in Port Charlotte. Um, this, uh, this scenario here is a uh, kind of a clean out slash deep clean. Unfortunate uh, elderly uh, veteran uh, having some, some issues that have uh, escalated uh, over the most recent uh, six, 12 months. That individual is um, now getting care. I believe he's at a, a rehab, but the, uh, the wife is here with us today. We're gonna uh, clean out the uh, one side of the house. It's a pretty good sized master and this is where you know he spent most of his time so uh, we're also going to remove uh, furniture and uh, and the flooring uh, at least the carpeting uh, and we'll clean the uh, the tile and so forth so so that this gentleman uh, hopefully as he's being treated that uh, uh, that he's able to return home to a, uh, a safe and sanitary environment you know I think we had a number of issues but uh, that, that's combined with uh, maybe some of the medication and alcohol and things of this nature that that uh, turns out that he uh, was relieving himself uh, in many different ways, actually all over the house. The, the worst of it is in the room that we're working on. So we got a lot of soiled uh, materials, clothing, bedding, uh, flooring, walls, uh, you know, things of this nature um, that we need to address. Uh, what we're doing here today is, uh, so we're in Port Charlotte. Uh, I'm here and uh, Chris is with the other team over in Englewood, uh, still working on uh, that board project. And uh, we also have uh, Ricky uh, over in uh, Boca Raton doing a, uh, a COVID disinfection. So we're spread out all over the state today uh, down here in uh, Southwest and South Florida. Oh boy, look at that. Oh. That's a bunny. Oh. I think it's a baby bunny. Is a bunny in there? I didn't even see him. I was over there. Holy shit. Isn't it? She's looking for her 15 year old cat went missing last week. Hopefully we don't run across the, didn't know about the bunny rabbit, but um, she's worried about her cat. So was the bunny a pet or do you think it's wild and got in here? No, I think she was saying that he would leave the lanai door, screen door open. And uh, so different times, uh, animals would make their way in, but uh, she doesn't know about whether, you know, maybe he held that as a pet or, or just worked his way in into the home, but uh, she didn't know anything about a bunny. So I guess we could run across the, I don't know. What's the, what's the right on the back side, right there. Well, yours looks smaller than mine. Well, you definitely got a 45. Yeah, look at that. I'd rather get in with that one. The old school uh, uh, intercom system. That goes with the uh, shell casings. We might run across a gun in here somewhere. So we'll keep this for, uh, I don't know if she uh, wants it or not, but obviously some type of, you know, veteran related things and some stories, uh, news clippings, 
that uh, he was interested in. Some, kind of some type of little collector's uh, series. So we'll, we'll see, uh, sit this side. Oh wait, 2008. Look at that, comes with a nice little case. Well, you can't go without a back scratch. Yeah. Gotta have a back scratch. Uh, uh -oh. Sound bar. Oh yeah. Well, I thought it was a gun. <laughs> I thought it was a gun case. <laughs> 50s. Look at that good old Johnny Cash. Walk the line, baby. Walk the line. Baseball cards. Full collector set. The complete set? Yep. You used to be able to buy them like that back in the day. Oh boy, there it is. Big old fat. Oh, it's like a 2020, but 50 ball gauge. I'm not a big gun expert, but I'm sure if you got hit with it, it would hurt. Almost looks just like it may have been oh, uh, right. ivory. Yeah, but look at that. Oh, it's cracked, but in better days, huh? It sure has. Love a clear. Little fella here to see you have it. Oh, oh. Yeah, it, it ain't, it ain't quite cool. make it. I've been looking for one of these all my life. A magic wand. Oh, God. <laughs> I think things are looking up. 2021 is going to be a great year as soon as we bust that magic wand out, I'll tell you. I think it might be his uh, earbook or something from his. Uh... Yeah, it is. Look at that. Have a look. It's like a yearbook. Got people's signatures and all that from his uh, Navy class. He didn't say he was a SEAL, but uh, obviously, obviously in the Navy. Yeah. Well, we'll save that for her. Another bunny. What's up with these bunnies getting in here? Look at that little book in. Look at you. <laughs> oh, old. Huh? A little old school yeah. typewriter. In fact, I remember uh, I remember messing around with one of those. My my mom and dad had it. Get some writing? I was uh, I don't even think I knew how to, to spell or whatever. I was just pushing <laughs> keys and making little imprints on the paper. I thought oh. that was cool. Ooh. You know, this looks pretty uh, high tech. I thought it was going to be like a vibrator. Oh, that would have been a good... <laughs> well, that, that kind of is magic, right? Yeah, exactly. I mean... <laughs> yeah, what do you think this does? So, uh, I don't know. I have to read up on that one. Is it like a stunt oh, finder? It's, it's, it's a scanner. It's a scanner. It's a scanner. Magic wand. Yep. I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got that little scan light right there. Yeah, little alligator. Is that piece of uh, glasses, or is, that looks like a snake or something. I, I think it is a reptile tail. Yeah. But if you look at the inside. Yeah. There's quite the collection going there, Evan. Oh, look at that. Yeah. There you go. Who knows what will be on there? Oh, wait a minute. This is one of those instant TV things as seen on TV. Oh, yeah. is it? Yep. All of a sudden you get every channel in the world? Yep, get every radio, every TV station. I mean, a big foot. That is a big foot. Definitely the craziest detachment I've ever seen. Big little bar, load the show. So what happens if you go the other way? Is that the kind you have to load every time you shoot it? Yep. Load and unload. Try to get him like in a kind of assisted living situation. Or? Well, uh, he he's a disabled vet, uh, so you know he has he has you know some avenues through those different programs and things. So, uh, so yeah, I think they're looking at uh, you know right now they're kind of defining it as a, as a rehab type facility, but uh, uh, you know probably the yeah some type of a yeah some type of assisted living you know yeah rehabilitation she wants to try to take care of him and what she thinks is right and of course he just wants to uh as as most people tend to want to stay in their home and you know be no, nobody wants to go to that step where they just can't take care of themselves anymore. Right. that's kind of right there on the border here right now at this point you're not going to start uh cleaning the feces and stuff till tomorrow 
Yeah, I mean, I just did some, some loose things, but I think, yeah, the actual deep clean action will be tomorrow. I found this, except there's a problem. One magazine? One magazine, no 38. And no handgun. And we found the weapon. And it's loaded. It's loaded? Yep. That could have been real bad. High five. <laughs> Chances of this thing firing off accidentally. It is loaded, so be careful. I don't know how to get the uh, cartridge out of that one, so. Oh, it's loaded? Yeah, it's loaded. Okay. Well, her uh, her son is a uh, uh, deputy. Okay. So he'll know. When I uh, talked with, with her, she said, no, no, I had made him get rid of all of his guns uh, a year or two ago. Obviously, you know, shotgun, one or two sidearms here. Oh, uh, ammo, there's there's shotgun ammo shells. There's shotgun, yeah. You never know what uh, what somebody's really doing until you until you get in there and check it out. I think they had him at 80, 80 some percent uh, disabled, uh, as she had mentioned. Just mentally through the... You know, I, I don't know if it's just through the PTSD um, piece of it or, or, you know, some of the other factors, but it sounded like the PTSD was pretty bad. He was a non vet No? Yeah. Yeah. He was a biker? Oh, yeah. Biker gloves. Little Harley Davidsons. So first thing this morning, Ted's telling us, uh, hey, I really don't want to, uh, you know, try not to get me in too much of a camper <laughs> <laughs> Hey, what can I say? I changed my mind a lot, you know. Camera loves you, Ted. Yeah. People don't, though. <laughs> They're gonna. Pay attention, because your freedom is not free. It'll now cost you $9.99. Let it work overnight with their uh, over-the-counter stuff. Rather than just throw it out, I'll go ahead and let some of it go to work. Looks like there's some blood mixed in there. I would, uh, I would agree. Pretty sure that's not something that you want to throw away. Yeah, the whole thing's filled with shoe polish. Ball shoe polish? Oh, oh, yeah. I guess when you got them nice loafers, you uh, need something to keep them looking nice. Exactly. Look at the same kid I have. So are you guys going to be deep cleaning the walls and floors and stuff, or? Um, not all over the house, you know, it's still something that is to uh, be determined, but the bathroom will be sanitized and disinfected for sure, but uh, the, the deep clean is still to be determined. Is that just a shockwave you're putting on right now, or? It is, okay. yeah, yeah, it is, and then you can just see. Yeah. And then make it see it's a lot easier now when I got the first layer off. You think you're gonna use like the steamer and stuff on it or? Oh absolutely. Yeah. Steamer, extractor, got a new thread. You can kind of hook that up for her. She's um, actually been taking a shower uh, in the garage uh, using the hot water heater um, hoses. Very excited because now she can get out of her bed over there. Luckily, we caught the door and right into here, so that'll be nice instead of stepping over everything. So, I swear, the first time I knocked on her door, I probably waited a good three minutes for her to come. I could hear her yelling, you know, she was back here in the back bedroom. And um, I always give our hoarders time to get to the door because I know it takes a while. Yeah. So and then when she could only open the door about that big, you know, I was like, oh, okay, I'm in for this, you know. Mm -hmm. I think it's the AC. Yeah, that's the AC. Yeah. yeah, it is. I'm Patrick. I grew up here. Patrick Anderson. Most people watch this, they might know me. What's your background? You've been doing uh, uh, stuff do like this before? I mean, I do everything. I love this work. Awesome. I man. love helping people out. Sweet. Yeah. Good to have you. Yeah, thank you. Such a nice bed. Look at you boys. You were so happy. Oh, yes, yeah, so comfy, so sleepy. The sleepy, happy boys. Yeah. Look at that tail. Is that tail wagon? You good boy. Wasn't sure at first I thought that was a, a rat. So new appliance is coming tomorrow. Yeah. New refrigerator, new stove, over the range microwave. Nice. A new washer and dryer. So that'll uh -huh. be exciting. Yeah. Yeah. So we got the refrigerator, yeah. stove, microwave hood. 
-huh. And a washer dryer for mm -hmm. under seventeen hundred. That's awesome. This is amazing. Right? Yeah. 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 I get my hundreds and thousands mixed up. <laughs> hey, don't we all? <laughs> and then when we were done with that, I looked at Connie and I said, "Are you hungry?" <laughs> Like, well, where do you want to go? And she'd already picked it out. She already spied an Arby's down the street. <laughs> oh, nice. Oh, what a fun girls' day. That's know, nice. Right? And we did everything just short of getting our nails done. <laughs> exactly. Was it left on or is it turned off? It sounds like it's running, but we, I can't yeah. even tell if there's temperature or not. Yeah. I, mean, so, I can smell that. <laughs> yeah. So what she does is she puts the food on the freezer side, but the freezer is set for like 64. Um, ooh, yeah. You guys both had kind of separate missions today. Just kind of tell me a little bit about both your days today. Yeah, well, yeah, we were on separate missions. Uh, Ed dropped me off here this morning and we had a couple of techs uh, uh, meet me here and uh, we got started on uh, day three. Uh, just again, you know, cleaning up, dehoarding, and organizing. So about uh, about 16 miles away, we have a we had another job. We split up today, and and so basically what we did there is we probably got about 50, 60 percent of that job uh, done with a crew. Um, so now we're back because we don't have enough vehicles. But um, uh, anyway, it's a good uh, problem to have, I guess. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> and uh, so. So it worked out pretty good. It was really our first um, major day. We actually had three different jobs going on at the, same, at the same time. The other thing that was really cool about today here at this location is our client has a uh, about a 40, 45 inch TV that <laughs> she's been watching an iPad for three years. Yeah. Um, well, <laughs> right now her 45 inch TV uh, is on in her bedroom, which has been, you know, kind of cleaned out and set up and everything like that. Looks so, good. Uh, yeah. uh, you know, and I, I don't think I've seen, I don't, I haven't seen her smile uh, as much as what she did when that TV came out today. So, so that's pretty cool. The we dogs really too. Enjoy that. Never yeah. seen the dogs look so happy once that that bed got cleaned off and TV in there. They got uh, a nice yeah. chill pad. See you guys tomorrow for uh, last last day on both these jobs. Yeah. yeah. Pepper. I don't think it's supposed to be that color. No. What's that? Ready? Am I? Yep. Oh! We got a mummy! Wow. Fucking real wolf rat. Oh, real, huh? Look at that. God. Looking pretty cute. Yeah, right? It's about my size of a table. <laughs> right there with you. You know what I'm Short kings gotta stick together. We got to. Step stool is my best friend. I've loved a step stool since I was born. <laughs> I came out the womb with a step stool. Wow. That's, an, that's impressive for a baby. You know what I mean? Like, what the heck is that? Don't worry about it, guys. I'm gonna need this later on in life. I know this. <laughs> Very nice. Your new washer and dryer. Yeah, that's what I wanted. Hot video on my hand. How do you feel now, though? You're kind of in the home stretch. I'm relieved. Oh yeah. I'm still very stressed out. Give these pups a nice home. <laughs> Treat them like the kings they are. The kings they are. Yeah. Yeah. I like just told Snowball here that just lay down. He never saw the floor before. <laughs> okay, so here we are. This is uh, day four, wrapping up about 32 hours. We've, we've done a few things outside of the scope of um, what was. Uh, um, proposed, um, but uh, you know, there's just some things you just can't leave undone, you know? I was crying on these. Oh, that's okay. Feeling pretty good about where we're at right now. We've got about one more hour or so uh, left on the clock, so I don't know if you can hear the vacuum running in the background, um, you know, but we're feverishly trying to. Uh, kind of make a little more space and take some things out. She's got a storage shed. We're here to, you know, really, really help her, you know, uh, get to uh, a, a 
place where it's comfortable and you have room for a couch. You probably guys have noticed that uh, Ed's not here with me doing the wrap up today. He's still at the uh, the veterans uh, residence over there doing the uh, pickle cleanup as we're kind of referring um, to it. Uh, him and Ricky are over there. You know, that's a, a sad story. The uh, veteran um, uh, became an alcoholic. Um, he fell. His wife uh, called uh, 911 and uh, they took him and determined that you know he was okay, but they decided to hold him under a Baker's Act. And if you know anything about that in the state of Florida, it's an act where they can hold you for 72 hours to uh, determine your mental state. Um, and uh, they determined his mental state to be okay. And his wife said, absolutely not. Anybody that walks around dropping poop on the floor and urinating on the, off the lanai is not right. So she refused to take him home and they actually filed charges of uh, abuse against her which caused her to have to get a attorney and it's become this big process. Um, but he is now in a uh, facility. Um, I think he's waiting to get his veterans benefits and he's gonna get the treatment. So that makes us happy that he's good you know, it'll be in a good place. Um, not real sure if it'll ever be back in his home. So that's the unfortunate thing here. You know, if anybody has, you know, anybody that's ever been in the military and is suffering from post-traumatic stress syndrome, you know, it's a difficult thing to deal with. It's been, you know, she's a strong woman, stronger than me apparently. You know, it's even hard for me to talk about, but I'm an army brat, um, traveled the world with my father and um, my father's in the hospital right now he's had a stroke but um, he's getting good care so it's very relatable for me right now sorry about the tears <laughs> but um you know that's uh, that's that's all gonna have a good ending so you know wrapping up here wrapping up there everybody's gonna have a good night's sleep and i gotta get these tears dried up that's <laughs> enough <laughs> Thanks for watching guys. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and ring that bell to be notified of the next episode. For more information, visit any of our locations.